welcome to Love the Day. My name is Lindy Haas and Love the Day is a place to learn how to DIY and how to craft with printables, paper, and SVG files. And today I'm so excited, Valentine's is coming. I'm gonna show you how to make this paper and pom-pom garland to hang on your door, or I'm actually gonna hang these up on my kitchen cabinets. I've made a smaller version um, to get really festive this season. So let's get started. The materials you're gonna need for this project are a Cricut machine. You can have a Cricut maker or an Explorer to work fine. You'll need a Cricut mat. I'm using the light grip mat. Um, you'll need a wreath form. I like this really thick one. I found this at Michael's. It has a nice steady base where I can glue all the hearts down. You'll need some yarn and a pom-pom maker. You'll need a couple different colors of cardstock. Here I'm using um, some different pinks and teals and red and white. You'll need a glue to put on your, to glue your hearts together. I love this Tombow brand, some scissors and a glue gun. You'll also need the Love the Day Valentine's bundle and let me show you how to get it. To get the Love the Day Valentine bundle, head to lovethedayshop.com, head over to bundles, scroll down to this Be Mine bundle, click on it, purchase and you will find this file will either be in your downloads or will download straight to your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, where I'm open up your Cricut Design Space, I want to upload an image and right here is my Be Mine Valentine bundle. I'm going to open that up. What I want is this multicolor hearts and bows. So we're going to add that SVG file. We also want the scallop heart garland. So I'm gonna add that as well. Let me save this. And we're gonna upload another image. We're gonna add this scallop heart garland. And save. Okay, once we have these two SVG files, let's go to this first one with the hearts and the bows. Let's insert those images. And let's ungroup them all so Cricut knows that we're in dealing with them individually. Okay, since we're not using the bows for this project, I'm gonna select them all and just delete. Okay, we're gonna go back to upload. We're also gonna insert the scallop parts into our canvas. We're gonna ungroup those as well. And since we're not gonna be using the pendant banners, we're gonna delete those. So I'm gonna go through delete those. I'm going to kind of go through my layers here, make sure I've got them all. I don't, I've got another one right here, so I'm going to make sure I delete all those. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Okay, so now we have a bunch of scalloped hearts and we also have a bunch of um, multicolor hearts. All right, you'll notice when working with all these hearts, we want them to be all different sizes and shapes. And so I'm gonna take two of these multicolor hearts, make them a little smaller. These ones I might make a little bigger. I'm gonna make two of these scalloped hearts a little bigger. And then I'm also just gonna add a couple hearts. Come over here, I'm gonna duplicate this heart. I'm gonna make it smaller and I'm gonna duplicate it a few times because we want some of these hearts to be 3D and I'll teach you how to do that. Let's make these ones pink. So what you can do is over here you can, it, these are all the colors that our palette is working with and what it does is it automatically assigns it to the mat, the color, the mat that you're using. And so we want these hearts to be pink so they all cut out with on the pink piece of paper. You know, I'm going to duplicate all three of those and let's turn those red as well. Okay, once we have an array of hearts, I'm going to press make it and you can see that your Cricut automatically assigns these hearts to their own mat. So my scallop hearts will be white, I've got all these different sizes red hearts, teal hearts, um, some of these half hearts that I'll show you what we'll be doing with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, press continue this is our medium we're going to be using some medium cardstock I like to put a little more pressure 
What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put the paper on my mat. And I'm gonna grab my machine and we are gonna put this paper in the machine and let the cricket do its thing. The cricket's gonna cut away. Alright, some of our scalloped hearts are cut out. I'm always so amazed at how well the cricket can cut such fine, intricate shapes. And look at those scallops. We're gonna go on next. We're gonna cut out some red hearts and keep adding to our heart collection. So in, after they're all cut out, we can start layering them and um, getting ready to build our wreath. hearts are all cut out and now I want to show you some fun ways that we can layer them and make them 3D so it'll make the, um, the overall garland really pop. So one thing that I love to do is to make these 3D hearts and what you do, you, it requires three pieces, three hearts and all you do is you fold them right down the middle, all three of them. Make sure they have a pretty good crease. And then I'm going to use my liquid glue. This is the Tombow brand. I like it because it's clear as it goes on, but it also dries clear. And it's pretty strong for paper. It also has two sides. There's kind of this thicker side, and then it has like a fine tip on the other side, depending on what you're doing with your craft. We're going to use this kind of fatter side here. And we are going to um, use this glue to glue two of our halves together. So we're going to start here. I'm going to hold those two hearts together as it just kind of starts to dry. And then as it's drying, I'm going to do it again to one of the other sides. And I'm going to add this piece as well. So you can see that there's th kind of three prongs to this heart. Now if you wanted to, you could go all the way around and it would be, um, you could turn it into like an ornament or other decor for like a garland. But because we're gluing this on a wreath, we kind of want that back to be flat, as you can see. All right, I'm going to set this um, 3D heart to the side, but I love using these because they really help the wreath pop and give the wreath some dimension. So I'm going to set this aside. And you can see I also did this with one of the scalloped hearts, which I love because the scallop already has such a fun shape. And then with the 3D version, it just kind of takes it to the next level. So that's one of the ways I love to do the hearts. And then the next is just layering. Um, so this is three different pieces that I layer on top of each other. So we're going to start with one of the scalloped hearts. You can see right here. And then I'm going to take, let's take this red heart. I'm going to use my glue again. And I'm just going to apply some glue it around and glue it on that heart and it is darling just like that but to take it to even the next level I'm gonna add this um, so part of the file it has the hearts they cut in half and so it's just a half of a heart and we're gonna layer that on top of the scallop and regular heart to give it even more visual interest and some contrast so that is another fun way that you could layer these hearts. Similar is um, I've got the big scallops and you could put little hearts inside the big scallops. So here I've got um, a little heart, really big scallop. I'm gonna put that little guy on there. So I'm gonna use this pink to glue on top and now I'll have another added layer. And then I'm also going to do just a couple, without the scallops, a couple hearts, just regular that are multicolored. So I'm going to grab maybe this pink and add this red to it. I'm going to add some light pink, dark pink to give some visual interest to the, to the wreath. We have all of our hearts layered and glued together. We have some really fun colors, really a lot of different shapes, a lot of different dimensions. I even on this 3D one, I added a pink in the center of the red. 
um, to kind of make it look a little different. So we are going to start gluing these to our wreath base. Like I said, I found this wreath at Michael's and I love it because it's kind of, it's got this fat base where these hearts will easily glue on. I've got my glue gun and actually before I glue things down, I'm going to kind of lay them out to make sure that none of the hearts like match. It's none of the matching ones are next to each other. So you kind of want to make sure all the different colors are represented, but apart from their counterparts. And I love these, um, the big scallops with the little hearts. And so you can see I've got two over here, two of the regular size over here, just to kind of make sure that they're all visually represented. Good. You have to remember we are also going to be using pom-poms to cover up some of these holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to start gluing those hearts in place. Go ahead and be liberal with your hot glue. Watch your fingers. just like that but we are gonna make some pom-poms to add this and to take it to the next level so let me show you how to make pom-poms all right the first thing we're gonna do to make a pom-pom is to grab this pom-pom maker and open up the sides so let me show you first how it works so a lot of times they'll cut they come apart like this and so you'll see there's kind of like this needle and it goes in this this hole right here in the center so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it together and we're gonna align these two arcs on either side once we have them aligned, we're gonna take our yarn, and let me, this is my very best tip, is use the cheap yarn. The cheap yarn makes the best pom-pom. So this, the acrylic yarn works the best. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pom-pom um, maker, we're gonna grab our yarn, and we're gonna take one of these arcs, like little rainbows, and I'm gonna start wrapping my um, yarn around this rainbow. And what you wanna do is constantly have tension on that yarn. So you wanna pull, you can see I'm pulling really tight, honestly as tight as I can. Um, and it helps make the pom-pom fuller and not as loose, cause you want, I hate those pom-poms that are like really flimsy. So this will make your pom-pom really full and tight. So we are going to wrap around this rainbow is what I'm gonna call it as many times as you can. Now normally, a lot of people just stop right here, which is fine, but your pom-pom won't be very full or plush. I keep going. I keep going to the point where like, I almost, like it doesn't, like yarn doesn't fit anymore. So take it to that point, constantly pulling tight on that yarn. And once I'm done with that side, I'm gonna fold it over. And then I'm gonna start with that same piece of yarn. I don't cut it or anything. Some people do, which is fine. And I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna wrap around this second rainbow. Okay, as you can see, look, we're getting pretty close to full here. Wrap it a few more times if I can. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut those rainbows together. You can see, I'm gonna grab my scissors. You need to have really sharp scissors for this next part. I'm actually going to switch to my Fiskars because they work a little better on um, this. So you can see here, there's a place for me to cut the yarn in half from that, you know, one of the side of, oh, one side of those rainbows. You got to keep that shut. So I'm going to cut my ribbon or my yarn, not my ribbon, I'm sorry all the way around on one side. And you can kind of start seeing how this pom pom is gonna come together. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, now you can see that all sides are trimmed. What I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna cut off a piece of yarn and I'm going to slide this piece of yarn, as you can see down the center, and what I'll be doing is tying those two sides together. So I'm gonna tie a knot. I'm gonna pull pretty tight. 
because I want a really tight pom-pom. I don't want it loose. I don't want frays. I'll tie it again. Okay, the next piece is the best part. You, you open up those rainbows and pull your two pieces apart. And there you have your pom-pom. It looks a little wonky because it hasn't been trimmed. So you take your scissors and you trim the pom-pom slowly in a circle, kind of giving it a haircut. Looks pretty perfect. And there you have your perfect pom-pom. Now that I have a few pom-poms made, I am going to glue them on top of my hearts, filling any gaps that are on the wreath base. So again, you kind of want to just like look around, see where the color looks the best. I love this hot pink against the teal. I'm going to place that up there. There's no red over in this corner, so I'm going to use the red pom-pom against this pink. Light paint down here. And once we've glued those pom poms on, kind of let it dry. And there you have it. We're all finished with our heart wreath. Now you can leave this as is. You can add a bow up top. You can hang it on the door. You could add a bow right here at an angle. Whatever suits your fancy. I hope if you make this craft, you'll share with me so I can see. Thank you for crafting with me. Make sure if you haven't that you subscribe so you stay tuned um, to all, everything that we're making here. Thank you for joining me and have a great day. <laughs>